Hey guys, Mr. Bowman here. This is the 1000 YouTube subscriber special and I've got this um, 151 Japanese booster box. There's a whole box to open for the 1K mark. It's an awesome box with some master reverse ball, so master ball reverse hollows that I'm looking for and I'm hoping to get a Pikachu one. And I'll show you what they are when they come. So let's cut through this and let's get into it. The annoying thing about Japanese packs is, I'll show you, they're a bit difficult to open. Um, so the box itself is easy to open, and then we'll kind of, I'll show you what I mean by that. So we kind of do that, flip these open, and you'll see the packs, oh gosh, we've lost one already. The packs are a lot smaller and a lot thinner, and that's because there's five packs per card. And because there's, sorry, five cards per pack, because there's a lot less cards in there, it's really difficult to open like this. So what I'm going to do is I've got the scissors here with me. I'm going to pre-cut each pack to make it easier to open. And here's a montage of that. Okay, we are back. I'll just zoom down a little bit so you can see the whole box. There it is. You can see all the trash kind of in the background there. Um, so let's get into these. Um, so as I said, the Japanese sets, oh gosh, this one didn't go well. The Japanese sets, there's a lot less cards per pack and you'll kind of see with this one here. So we've got a Drowsy, a Diglett, a Dratini. We've got a um, Reverse Hollow Raichu. I just want to note, do you see the top of the Pokeball there? If it's one of the Master Ball ones I'm looking for, you'll see there'll be an M hidden in there but we don't really have that for this one here you see there's no m in that master ball kind of over there and then the last one aerodactyl hollow and then a slow poke oh, and then we had a one of those as well okay so next pack so i don't really know the card trick for these so we're just going to go like regular style so we've got coughing psyduck eevee that's a keeper we've got a ditto so again keeping an eye for the master ball but that's not a master ball this time around Oh, we've got a, an EX, Jinx EX, that's a good pull. And then we've got an Onyx. Oh gosh, I keep forgetting there's a Taurus behind it. So it looks like there's two cards that's stuck at the back behind the good pull. So let's kind of do that. So we're going to move two cards from the back to the front. And hopefully that means we're going to leave the good cards at the back. So we've got Executor, Diglett, Nidorino. We've got the old Amber. Jeez, it's not focusing really well today, is it? There we go. Okay, we've got a Dratini. That's a regular one, not a Master Ball one. Oh, and then we've got a Golem EX. So another good Japanese pull. There should be, from my understanding, per box, I think there should be like one or two textured cards. So those are the really rare ones. Um, but I guess we'll see when they come in. So there's that one there. Erika, Venonet, Staryu. So the cool thing about this one is these are all the Pokemon that when I was a kid. So that doesn't look like a Master Ball one. They're actually quite hard to spot, the Master Balls. Um, so hopefully I'll spot them. And then we've got the Nino, what's that, Nino King. Um, yeah, so these were the cards that came out when I was kind of like your age, like all the, all the young fellas. Um, and then I yeah, absolutely loved this set, and this is the anime that was on the TV as well. So we've got the Scyther. Just trying to bloody, just trying to focus, there we go. Arcanine, Saiyan Shrew, Nidoran, Magma, we've got a... A regular reverse holo Mr. Mime, and then we've got a Chansey. So no, none of the Master Ball reverse hollows yet, but I'll show you, when I do spot one, I'll, I'll try to highlight, um, I'll try to get one of the other ones next to it so you can kind of see the difference. Nothing outrageous yet. So we've got Cloyster, Drowsy, Pikachu, that's a keeper. I always put those aside, put that in the keeper pile. Is that a Master Ball? No, that's a regular reverse holo. So you can't see any M on the top of the Pokeball there. And then we've got a Dragonite. So Paul's pretty average so far. One, two. I'm glad I cut the tops off each of them. It's certainly making it a lot easier. So there's a Hitbon Lee. Um, Doug Trio, Paris, Grimer, Sparrow. And we've got an Erica and no Master Ball. Apparently this one's actually quite expensive in a Master Ball. So, unfortunately, no Master Ball for us. Oh, and we've got one of our textured cards. So if you feel them, there's a bit of texture. That's Giovanni. That's a full art. Um, yeah, really good pull. That artwork is striking, isn't it? That's cool. You know, I'll check the price. If it's a good price, I'll kind of put it down somewhere down here for you to have a look at. 
Um, I'll do the same with the other cards if, if, if there's anything decent coming up. But I'm not expecting anything too decent. The best pull I'm kind of hoping for is that Master Reverse ball, ball I keep mentioning. If I can get the Pikachu version of that, I think that's quite pricey at the moment. Um, or any other kind of popular Pokemon in the Master Ball is going to be pretty good. Like the Gengar will be sweet as well. So we've got the Magma. I've had the Magma a few times. So we've got a Trainer. These are the worst ones. You don't want these in the Master Ball. Or oh, we've got a Charizard EX. That's actually a pretty good pull. I'll take a Charizard. Nice. So it's always good to get a Charizard. You know, they'll go up in value over time. Yeah, so I think it was my year 10 class who was keeping an eye on the subscribers for me and told me that I hit 1k. So if you're in that year 10 class and told me, thanks for reminding. I haven't been checking too much lately. But I should do a better job of checking. And I'm going to try to do a video a week going forward because I know I've been a bit shy doing it. Um, since I've had my daughter, I haven't had much time um, to do that. Oh, we've got Tentacruel, no Master Ball yet, and we've got Vileflume Hollow. Yeah, so probably every Monday, Friday, I'll try to do some maths videos, because I do enjoy doing it, but I haven't had time. Um, hopefully I can link it up to some of the classes that I'm teaching at the moment. Um, Jigglypuff, all that art works pretty cool, actually. Oh, we've got a secret rare Pikachu. That's actually a really good pull. We've been quite lucky. The Charizard and then the Pikachu here. That's not bad. And then the Ditto. And just so you know, that, because it's the illustration art, that takes the slot of the Reverse Hollow for that one. So we'll have a look. Might even send this off to grading as well. See how we go. Okay, one, two. So no Master Balls yet. I can't remember if it's one Master Ball or two Master Balls per box. There's also a chance I missed it as well, which means I might have to go back to all the reverse hollows to have a look. There's a Squirtle. Oh, there you go. This is our, this is one of the Master Balls. Hopefully you can see the M at the top of the Pokeball. You can see the M there. That's one of the Master Ball ones. That's a Rhydon. Not the best one to get, but still, you'll take a Master Ball the way when you can. That's a sick pull. Happy with that. Let's put that at the back. There we go. And then we've got a Coffin. So that was definitely one Master Ball. Hopefully there's two per pack, but I can't remember. Last time, I haven't opened one of these in absolute ages. I got a streamer to open one up for me when they first came out, and I can't remember if there was one or two Master Balls. I'm hoping it's two, because I want a shot at that Pikachu Reverse Hollow Master Ball. So we've got Farfetch'd. Haven't seen that artwork. That's pretty cool. Oh, we've got a Metapod. That's a regular one, not a Master Ball. And then we've got the Marowak, I think they're called. I've forgotten the names of some of them. This pack feels a bit thicker than the other ones, but I'm probably just going crazy in my head. Okay, we've got Tentacruel. So I think we're still expecting one Master Ball and one Textured card, uh, but we'll see. Hopefully we get some good ball balls. Machop, Seal, that Seal's having a good day. Oh, that's a regular one, no M there. And then we got the Starmie. Nope, yeah, is that Starmie or Star You? Yeah, Star You. No, no, Starmie, Star, Star You's the basic one, right? Okay, so we've got a butterfly. While we're chatting, or oh, Giovanni, um, let me know what your favorite pool was from this box. I'll be curious to see what everyone likes. I don't think that's a master ball. They're really hard to spot. I'm really worried I missed one of the other ones. Oh, that Mewtwo looks cool as, eh? Okay, let's go. So we're probably down to, oh, we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got six packs left. I can't remember exactly how many packs there were. It didn't feel like 36. Like the English box, it felt like a bit less, but I guess we'll see. Hopefully there's one Master Ball, one textured card left. Sandshrew, that made... I don't think we've seen that one before today. Oh, there we go. Not a Master Ball, that's good, because those trainers aren't very good in a Master Ball. And there's a Raichu. Five packs left. Hopefully we can leave at least one good pull. That illustration Pikachu we got was pretty good as well. Okay, gosh, Abra, or oh, Bulbasaur, oh man, that would have been so cool, Bulbasaur and Master Ball, that would have been great. And then we've got the Doug Trio, so we're down to, four, I think it's four more packs. Jeez, it feels like it would go forever opening these, eh? Well, certainly a lot more packs than normal, that's why I'm flying through them. Okay, we've got Kingla, Pinsa, Porygon, Volpix, Tangela, we've got a Drowsy, that's a regular Drowsy. Oh, and a Flareon. That's not bad. Flareons are all cool. They'll go up in value over time. So I'll keep that in a sleeve and sell it later on at some point. I'll get rid of the most of them. I'll probably put it on trade me for like a dollar reserve just to get what I can out of them. Oh, Snorlax. That's good artwork. Big fan of Snorlax. Eh? I'll put that aside in the keeper pile. 
Okay, we got Elector Buzz. We've got a Pidgey. No Master Ball Reverse Hollow. We've only got two packs left. Maybe it was only one Master Ball per pack or per box. Um, hopefully it's two, but we'll see. Um, if not, I might have missed it. I might go back and look at, the, look at all the Reverse Hollows um, in the summary. Okay. Oh gosh, it took two at the same time. There you go, there's an Oddish. Slowpoke. Kakuna. Oh, we've got another illustration rare. That's Caterpie. Nice pull. Big fan of that. Oh, and we've got a Blastoise EX. That matches our Charizard. A Venusaur one would be cool. Um, very last pack. Okay, so that's Leftovers. That card. Charmeleon. That's a keeper. Keep that. Okay, this is our last one. Oh, we got a Charmander. That's not bad. Jeez, three illustration rares. I'm actually quite chuffed with that. And then we've got a Vaporeon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick card resort. So I've put all of the kind of keepers and the shiny ones in this pile. I'll quickly sort them all out for us. So there might be another fast forward montage. Go in here. I just spotted one in the corner of my eye. And I've got, you'll see kind of around me, I've just got a, kind of got the uncommons and commons sitting there. But I'll put those aside. Um, but hopefully there's a Master Ball that I've missed. Because if not, it was only one per box instead of two, which... This is a bit disappointing, not what I was expecting. I clearly forgot. So that was a hollow. Okay, so I've sorted them out. Just, just a note. So this was the master ball that we pulled. It's really hard to see. I'm just trying to make it better. There you go. Can you see that M kind of there, but just near my thumb, that M? Those are the Master Ball Reverse Hollows we're trying to keep an eye on. So what I did was I pulled out all the Reverse Hollows from the pack just to keep an extra eye on one. If I've really missed it and like just completely having a nightmare, kind of just let me know. Um, but I don't think I've missed it. So ditto, definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Yeah, it doesn't look like I've missed any of the Master Balls. You can kind of see the top of the ball glowing there. Oh, there we go. So I definitely didn't miss it. That's a bit disappointing. So there's our only Master Ball. Um, yeah, cool card. It would have been sweet if we got that in a Pikachu, but that's all right. The other pulls we got, we got the Jinx EX, the Golem EX. Those were a bit average, but these three here are pretty cool. We've got the Full Art Giovanni. Got the Charizard EX pull, that's a good pull. And then we've got the Blastoise. And then the very final ones, these are the, the big cards that people are collecting from the set. We've got the Charmander um, illustration rare. We've got the Caterpie illustration rare. And finally, probably the best pull of the box, I think, is that Pikachu. Man, thanks so much for watching. That was the 1K video. Um, let me know what your favorite pull was. And we've got a few good cards here, like that, that Charizard, that Giovanni, and that Pikachu. They're actually quite good cards. Do you reckon I should grade them? Like send them off to America and get graded and then I can tell you what they get. Let me know if you think we should get them graded. Thanks heaps. Thanks so much for watching and keep an eye out for the maths ones, which I'm going to try to start posting a bit more now. All right, see you all.